Hello and welcome back to another news video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today we're talking about a new developer blog entry, an official blog entry on the official Final Fantasy XIV blog. There will be a link in the description if you want to go read this yourself. But essentially this is all about the Hatching Tide slash uh, the Little Ladies Day event, which is basically combined for the first time, I think, ever. And uh, yeah, basically some people are a little bit upset with the fact that these events are combined, but regardless, we're not here to judge that we're here to read so obviously this is a post um obviously from kiwi copo from a community team and it says while the cold chills may not have completely vanished from the air trees are blooming and spring is gradually settling upon us i'm sure i'm not the only one tearing up at the thought of finally enjoying a warm day outside you can just stop right there i am absolutely frozen in the office this morning and I'm really looking forward to the summer. So, of course, this year's event will combine both Little Ladies Day and Hatching Tide festivities. And they say, so you can enjoy the best of both worlds together. So the main reward then, in fact, the only reward that we know about is PT. PT is a brand new mount that you'll be able to pick up this week. And, of course, this is a pink reskin of a gubu gubus then you might have seen the laurel gobu a gubu for example which comes from a beast tribe you might be familiar with the one that came from 1.0 there's a lot of really cool reskins of this actually there's only a couple isn't there um and this is a pink variant with pink cherry blossoms as the uh, the flower blossom on top of its head uh, obviously the original gubu also had a sneeze and it looks like this is no different this time however this is a slightly different special mount action so it as appears to be sneezing pink clouds and those puffs of pink smoke which is kind of disgusting um actually create eggs which hatch into bunnies which is kind of adorable this this just this picture alone with Valalafel and then a grinning goob. <laughs> it's like, look at my eggs. They're full of my little bunny children. I'm not sure where the rabbits come from. Hopefully, hopefully that's answered in the storyline. I don't really know what else to think here. This is terrifying, this face. This is kind of like a Tinder profile, right? <laughs> but we've got little bunnies, which is adorable, obviously. And those bunnies explode? I don't know. And finally, the egg in Pete's hand goes pop. Oh, the pop, the big egg goes bang and explodes in lots of different colored confetti and explosions with vibrant colors of hatching tide. Be sure to complete the, ev uh, the event quest for your PT mount ahead of some glorious spring walks around Eorzea with your friends. So obviously this is tied to the actual event quest. Um, I don't know what the vendor's going to have, probably previous year's festivity like fireworks, things like that. But yeah, so it's a gooboo that sneezes pink clouds and the pink clouds turn into eggs which then hatch into rabbits and then an egg that explodes there's a lot to take from this isn't there there is quite a lot to take from this one and you can't uh, shy away from the originality that's being presented here but that is the sole reward for the event there's also more information about the city decorations it says for this year's event the festival decorations on display will vary from city to city so of course we've got limsa Liminsa and the city's residential districts obviously they're affected by seasonal events if you didn't know housing districts always change uh, they will actually be decorated according to the schedule that they've outlined here so for little ladies day decorations this goes from the thursday so this thursday the 14th of march until the 22nd of march and then on the 22nd of march it switches over to hatching tide decorations until the 1st of april which is interesting. It says, be sure to factor in the switch if you're planning to make some festive g -pose screenshots. So if you want to take some pictures in Uldar looking like this, then that's the date specifically for that little lady's day and, uh, and so on and so forth. It says, but last not least, here's how to participate. So of course, on the 14th of March at 8 in the morning, GMT, uh, you'll be able to take place in this until the 1st of April. Now, this coincides, obviously, with people coming from the Xbox version, which should be live by the, you know, the, the margin of this. I think it's, what, the 22nd, something like that. And uh, if you go over to New Gradania and then teleport to Old Gradania via the little mini etherite or walk sort of nat north through the border, you'll be able to go to a place called Miketo's Amphitheatre, and you'll be able to find Geely Aliapo and uh, do the actual quest line. I believe you need to be level 15 and above to be able to take part in this. But yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you because 
honestly, we don't really have much info about this event. I'm struggling to find what's related to Little Lady's Day, apart from the, I guess, the flower crown. It's going to be interesting to see how the story works for this. Hopefully, it's not just a, a pickup quest and return, hand in, and get mount. Um, hopefully, there's a fate associated with this. This is the sort of thing that could easily... Uh, combine we've had like the catching the chickens mini game in the past we've had all sorts of different things for both of these events actually um so hopefully that's combined with something fun rather than just here is a mount we'll have to wait and see though but um yeah if you want to go read through this yourself or any of the dev blog stuff sometimes it gives you a good insight of course there's a link to the actual uh, big details on this uh, on the dev blog but yeah i'm excited to get myself some pt action let me know if you're excited for this sneezing bunny egg dude and uh, i'll see you all next time bye bye i can't wait for thursday now i need context i need context for why my bunnies are exploding but there we go maybe i'll never know we'll find out bye bye